Hello viewers, today I want to show you how to get your models from 3ds Max into Unity without messing it up. For this purpose I have created a demonstration model and as you can see the arrows on the model are aligned with the coordinate system in Max. Before we start with the export process let's cover some basics first. My model is centered in the point of origin and that's always a good idea to do. You can change it and put it somewhere else, but if you do that, do it intentionally and don't just have um, the model float around in the open somewhere like this, because that will make it more difficult to place in the game engine. The next thing you should check is the pivot or pivot or pivot. Feel free to start a pronunciation war in the comment section. My pivot is not centered to the origin. It's a little bit off and I don't want that because the pivot is kind of a handle you grab to move and transform the object. So I want it to be in the correct position as well. To correct that, you can go to the hierarchy tab, click effect pivot only, and now you can move it or rotate it. So I want it to be in the origin of the coordinate system. So I set its coordinates to zero. Let's just check the rotation, that's fine. And scale is also fine. Uncheck this and it's aligned, we are done here. The next topic is the question of which export option to use because there's a couple. You can use the ordinary export function. You can use the game exporter or maybe if you have it, you can use the export to Unity function. This comes from the Unity FBX exporter, which is a package that you can install in Unity. And it comes with a 3ds Max plugin, which allows you to send models from Unity to Max and the other way around. So I will export the model with one of these options and I won't change any settings. Now I switch over to Unity. Here my project window is the model. The first thing I want to talk about is scale, because there may be a difference between what a unit means to 3ds Max and what it means to Unity. So my 3ds Max is set up in a way that one unit is one centimeter. In Unity, however, one unit is a meter. So in the model's inspector window in Unity, I have the convert units box checked and it says one centimeter file to 0.1 meter unity, which is correct. If it wasn't correct, I can enter a scale factor. If you set max to centimeters, then it should work right out of the box. But if you don't, you now know um, where to fix it. Let's drop this one in. I drop it into the hierarchy tab because that makes sure the model spawns in its original orientation. If I would drop it in here, the engine would try to place it where my cursor is. So the up axis is upwards. That's a good thing. But there are two things that I don't like. I have a rotation value of minus 90 degrees in here. And that's something I don't want because this is the original orientation of the model. And so I want it to be at zero. There's a second issue. As you can see, the X and the Z axis are the other way around. The cause of this issue is that 3ds Max and Unity use different coordinate systems. Max uses a system where the Z axis is up. In Unity, the Y axis is up. And Unity is also a left-hand coordinate system, while Max uses a right-hand coordinate system, so it's mirrored as well. How do we fix that? There are a couple of methods. I will start with the easiest one. Let's export the model again. And this time I use the standard exporter or the game exporter. Both of these have a setting that's important. You can define the up axis. And I will set it to Z, like it's in 3ds Max. I give it another name. This is version 2 and export it. Switch back to Unity drag it in and everything seems to be the same because there is another step you have to take. In the models inspector, check back axis conversion, apply it. And if I drag it in now, here's a zero and the axes are aligned, which is perfect. 
However, this only works for the exporters where you can define the up axis. For example, the Unity exporter can do it. I think it uses um, a Y axis up configuration because it wants to be helpful and thinks, hey, Unity is Y up, so I set it to Y up. But if I try to do the trick with the same model I exported first using the Unity exporter, it looks right, the axes are aligned, but I still got this 90 in here, which I don't like. Another reason why you maybe cannot use this method is because this checkbox is not available in older versions of Unity. So I will show you another method without using it. What you need to do is you have to trick the engine. If it thinks my model is rotated by minus 90 degrees, what I can do is I can pretend in 3ds Max that my model is rotated by plus 90 degrees and it will cancel out in the end. Once again, I go to effect pivot only, enable rotation and set the X value to 90. So I export it again using the Unity exporter. All right, here is the third version and 90 degrees are gone. We are set to zero. The only thing that's still not right is the X and the Z axis are inverse. This is caused by using the left hand coordinate system. It's not such an easy fix. What I could do is I can use a mirror modifier, mirror the X and the Y axis, because Y is Z in this case. Export it again. I drag it in. This is correct. No, 90. And the axes are aligned. However, I usually don't do this because I don't think it's worth it. Mirroring the object is an additional step. And after I did it, the axes in max are not correct anymore. So I have to make a decision. Do I want them to be aligned in max or do I want them to be in unity? And most of the time, I just don't care because it's not important for me if it's positive x axis or the negative one. And many models are symmetrical anyway, so there's no difference at all. But if I start doing this and I forget it for some models, there's a risk that they won't fit together in the end. So if you cannot use the easy method I showed you in the beginning, you might consider just using the 90 degree fix and leave the rest as it is. So there's one more error I'd like to cover and I have prepared a special version of the model which contains this error. And if I drop this thing in, there's no 90 degrees. As I said, the axes are the other way around. I'm okay with that as long as the upper axis is up, but the position is wrong. There's a strange number. It's 1e minus 06. And that's a scientific way to write numbers. And it says it's a 1, but there are 6 zeros in front of it. So you can't really see that the model is not aligned with the origin but there's a very small value that it's off. And if I switch back to 3ds Max, I don't see it because it says zero everywhere. So where does it come from? It's this minus sign. It indicates that it's off by such a small amount that it will not display it. Because if I enter a number which is smaller than 0 0.001, it will not show me. It is out of the precision range that I have set up. To fix it, sometimes it doesn't help to enter a zero. So I move it to five, the object, and move it back to zero to make sure it's there. Now I have to check the pivot. It's also set to zero, zero. So let's export this one again. And now it's right. Sure, you could also, you know, just set this to zero, generate prefab. That's already corrected. But I always like to have my models on the lowest level as perfect as possible. That's it for today. I hope it was helpful for you. Goodbye.